Hello everyone, I'm your boy GuruMT and welcome back to Craftopia server! Yeah, today we are starting at my base area and we are standing on the very very beautiful blimp that I recently built. However, I've been looking down at this area over here. As you can see, I haven't built anything on this side of the island. And I actually have a few plans for, for more buildings that I would like to do in my base area. And I think it's finally time to expand the builds um, yeah, outwards, this way. Uh, but before I can start any building, I actually need to like make sense of this area. I want to patch up like holes and basically do a, a really like uh, good cleaning. To it, so I think that's exactly what we are going to do now. Now that all the mushrooms are out of the way, I will try and make a proper road connecting this part over here uh, to my main area over at this side, and I imagine I can just make the road kind of go from here and take like a lower part over here we will have to move the cows out of the way and kind of like go on the side of this cliff and then go through this little gap over here because I kind of fancy the idea that we would have some kind of like a um, almost like a cave on the side I will, I, I, I will like think about it whether I'm gonna leave this cave open or I'm gonna like fill it in okay let's let's do that I have made the path from the main area of my base towards the new one that we are actually going to work uh, on today and uh, yeah, I think it looks fairly good. Uh, I decorated like this hillside a little bit, so now it's actually uh, a green, <laughs> kind of grassy hill slope. And this path over here takes us to this like very good looking um, point, in my opinion. I just love how like it looks that path is carving through this little hill over here. And I actually decorated this a cave so that we can actually take two two paths kind of like just maybe I imagine that people would be like traveling this path and uh, if there would be like rain this could be a place where they could like take a shelter or something and then continue on, on their way <laughs> but yeah the path right now ends over here but that's just because um, the next thing that I want to do is actually build a building and I think I'm gonna build like one over here and uh, yeah that's exactly the next thing that I should do now and after that we will actually connect the path towards the building I just did the live stream and as you can see I actually started sketching in like the first building that's gonna be here however now that I'm looking at it, I was really trying to use like basalt in a build, but I don't really like it, so I'm probably gonna change out these pillars to something a little more interesting. Uh, but however, what we did on a live stream is we built these two generators over here, 
like this one is actually basalt generator like over here it does lose some basalt every once in a while if it like goes to the side and falls into lava however it's quite fast so we are sacrificing a little bit of basalt in the name of that and over here we have um, the stone generator like this and the thing is that it mostly generates stone however sometimes uh, yeah sometimes lava makes its way down like in the stone area and in those occasions we generate uh, cobblestone like but for the most part we are good I just have to like go straight and try not to like kick out uh, like take out the wall over there because yeah that will like break it so yeah uh, I think I will just carry on with the build and yeah do some adjustments for for these pillars right now so here is a little bit of update uh, yeah I replaced these front columns with andersite and stone brick mix and I think it looks much better this way uh, yeah so I will actually go and do the second floor right now and bring you back later so I have made a little bit more progress with this build and as you can see from the outside it is mostly done even if we like fly around it we basically have everything in place however uh, on the inside yeah we still have a lot to do now finally I have connected uh, the road uh, to the building and I also uh, put a little bit of greenery on top of this uh, little slope over here uh, yeah let's fly down and see as you can see we already have some detail in place and if you go inside yeah I decorated the inside a little bit also and I think for now this building is done uh, because yeah I will definitely work like on the surrounding area as soon as we are going to build next building in this area so I think uh, yeah we can just go and do that right now So I've been placing down blocks and doing some live, live streams in between and uh, yeah the second building in the new area is done. So why don't we just take a walk and uh, yeah let's look at it. So I kind of really like uh, if we take this pathway over here and then we take this turn and we see the new building <laughs> with a cow. Uh, but yeah this this is kind of like with, within the same block palette as like my starter building in my space but yeah the shapes are completely different and uh, yeah after, of, after all like it has this like very overgrown feeling to it and uh, yeah it's, it's quite different but also it's the same <laughs> you catch my idea so let's take uh, a look inside 
there are many entrances, but let's start with the, like this lower area. There's not much going on over here. I just I was thinking about doing some kind of like a winery over here, like uh, not winery, but um, wine basement, basically shelves for the wine bottles, like with the individual slots. Therefore, we also have some barrels. Uh, if you go here, there would be some kind of like a work table, crafting table over here. And on this side we have a little bit of hay bales, uh, because we have two air, uh, exits over here. If we go this way, we can go to our new um, cow pen over here. Uh, yeah, but if we go back this way, we can actually... Oh yeah, there's two barrels here. We can exit on this side. So. Um, yeah, there's, there's like a staircase inside by which we uh, go to the upper floor, like first floor. Here's another exit. <laughs> Here we can stand on this kind of like balcony and look at our precious animals <laughs> down there. <laughs> uh, yeah, on this side I was going for some kind of like a reading room vibe, I don't know something like that. We have this very comfy couch for the bookshelves. So you could like just grab a book and sit here and read a book. Uh, this design for doors in front of like the wall block. When I see it, it kind of reminds me of a sliding door. Therefore, I, I used it over here. I don't know. It, in my mind it just works. <laughs> Here we have a little bit more furniture, just a chair and a desk and kind of like a shelf thingy. And we can go to the next floor over here. And there's a king's bedroom <laughs> with a triple bed. Because one bed is not enough, I mean. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of interior. For this thing, although I still put down a few, few, few things inside. I've been thinking about the next builds that I want to do in this area. However, before I uh, do another building, I figured that I should probably build a tree because I haven't done much of custom trees in my base area in general. Uh, but I really feel that, uh, yeah, one should definitely go in this area over here. So let's get to it. And here we have it, the tree is done, and I think, uh, yeah, this tree really fits the area. Because, uh, yeah, all the greenery, it's just helping uh, this environment to look more alive. And that's exactly what I want, want it to feel. But, yeah, to be honest, today we have done quite, quite a lot of things in here, like... I was worried that this uh, episode will come short with, uh, from the builds, like that it's not gonna have enough. But to be honest, this was quite a large chunk of my base area that we managed to do in this episode. So I'm quite happy about that as well. And I mean, yeah, the second tree in my base area, like there are some angles that it doesn't look as good but for the most part it really really fits and uh, looks like natural as, as natural as minecraft can look i guess <laughs> uh but that being said my friends i think it's time to end the episode and i really wanted to say thanks to every one of you who are who's like watching my videos uh, and uh, yeah pr please leave a like to this video and maybe subs uh, subscribe to my channel if you like like what you see here also, you can find me on twitch.tv as GuruMT uh, if you want to like see me working on a build live and maybe have a chat with me. 
So, um, yeah, I hope you guys having a good day. Have a good one in general. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye 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 bye